Hey everybody, let's take a look at bear hugs today. Uh, big thing with bear hugs, if they intend to take us to the ground, there's a ginormous chance that I am now fighting in a ground fight. I was surprised. Again, somebody coming at me from the front, I'm not gonna let them bear hug me. I would like to kick them away, punch them away, throw a knee strike, frame up and wall up into a knee strike if I see that person coming and trying to grab me. I'm gonna frame up, clinch up, maybe a tight clinch, it all depends on what level you're at. So bear hugs, number one thing you guys need to base, whether it's front or back, base, be stable. Somebody's grabbed my arms, I'm based. Left, right, north, and south, all right? I'm based, I'm solid, all right? All four points, I'm solid. I'm not narrow, and the big common error we see people basing, and they're really wide, right? You're gonna have one foot out. I'm stable, forward, and backwards in my bear hug. Bear hug from the front, arms free. I am basing, and I'm sending a strike into the groin. As I base, get onto their hips, and try to make space. That is the goal. Make space, get your hands up, and continue that fight. A bear hug from the front, arms pin, send the hands in, base, get your hands on their hips, start knee striking, and then whatever else you're gonna do. All right, I'm neutral, my hands are pinned, base, oh, man, hip. I'm pinned, make space, send the hands as you base, oh. frame up. Bear hug, arms free. I had the option, it keeps it simple, doing the same thing. My hands are free, get on their hips. Keep their hips away from me, that's their power source. That's gonna give them the ability to dump us. Keep those hands on their hips. Boom, knee, keep it the same. If your hands are free and they're coming up already, you can go thumbs in the eyes and go back and down. You might also have the option of elbow striking. Your hands are free on a bear hug. We're still basing, but my hands came up. Go to their eyes, back and down. You also have the option of throwing some elbows, but those thumbs driving them into their eyes, back and then down is highly effective. Bear hug from behind. Let's take a look at it. Arms are pinned, same thing. Base, make space, send the hands. If I can only send one hand, I will. As soon as I make space, I'm turning in. Bear hug, base make space, turn into the fight. Your hands are pinned. If I cannot move my hands, I have stomping and uppercut back kick. If I cannot get my hands moving, I have stomps and uppercut back kick. If my hands are free, bear hug from behind, base elbows. As soon as you feel like you've made space, the ability to start turning into that fight, turn into it. As always, make sure you're basing. I base, throw some elbows, I feel space, I turn in. Those are your basic bear hugs. What I want you to do today is go back, start from the beginning, do each one five to 10 times, and then do 10 sit-ups in between. If that's not enough, you can add something else in between there. You're getting that practice of bear hugs. And again, when you're doing those bear hugs, simulate somebody else coming up and attacking you. Maybe you're mocking up, oh, I'm hitting here, oh, my turn in, and then their friend is coming with a high 360 attack and I'm defending and countering. It could be somebody bear hugging me and holding me, and I'm trying to get a front kick on their friend that they're maybe holding me for somebody else to hit. So the possibilities are endless, guys. Use your imagination, keep them fluid. Don't always do the same combative if you can. Mix up your combatives, that'll be fantastic. I'll see you guys soon.